Good morning from the city of Heidelberg in western Germany. Now this is a provincial town in the state of Baden-Württemberg, around an hour south of Frankfurt and it's one of the best preserved historic towns in the country. Some people even say that this is the most beautiful city in Germany. So let's go have a look around. I am now entering the medieval core of Heidelberg and what you should know about this city is that it is one of the oldest cities in Germany and it is home to the country's oldest university. And even today one quarter of the population of Heidelberg are students. So the city has about 160,000 people of which one quarter are studying at the university. So it's really the definition of a university town. Another interesting fact about Heidelberg is that during the Second World War nothing was destroyed here because this city had no strategic importance for the Allies so they didn't bomb it and that's why you still have this beautiful medieval core here. Most larger German cities like Frankfurt, Hamburg, Cologne and Berlin were bombed to the ground in 1945 but not Heidelberg. That is why it is still so pretty. This right here is the main square called Marktplatz, Market Square. And yeah, this is very pretty. This is what I imagined Heidelberg to look like. And this is, I guess, what many people from outside of Europe expect Germany to look like. But most of Germany doesn't look like this, unfortunately. But Heidelberg does. Right next to this main square, we have a large pedestrian zone. And this is one thing that Germany does very well. You have no cars in the city center. Everything is made for pedestrians and bicycles. And that just makes it much nicer to walk around. When you head to Google and then type into the search bar most beautiful cities in Germany, this one will always pop up and you can see why. It is gorgeous. These buildings right here behind me are all part of Heidelberg University. And the university here is actually the oldest one in Germany. And it was founded in the 14th century by the Pope. So yeah, interesting bit of trivia. And I think that most universities these days do not look like this. As I'm wandering around the university here, I just found out that there is some kind of prison here that was turned into a museum. So I think I'll go check that out now. Now this is a very interesting place. This is where the students of Heidelberg University were imprisoned and it was in use until 1914. So the graffiti that you see here on the walls is actually over a hundred years old. Look at this, 1901. So the person who did that graffiti did it over a hundred years ago. And yeah, then you have some drawings and all that stuff. So this is from the students that were imprisoned here. Wow, pretty cool. Let's see what else is here. This is the entrance to the prison and the students were actually imprisoned here if they were too drunk or if they did something naughty at university. That's how it worked back in the day. Let's go inside. Here we have some old cells and I'm not sure what they are used for today. But yeah, there's some equipment in here. But this is where the students of Heidelberg University were imprisoned if they did bad things at university. Here's another room full of drawings and graffiti. And yeah, this is the Studentenkarzer here in Heidelberg, an old student prison. Here we have a small museum about the university just detailing some of the history of the place. And yeah, this is the oldest university in Germany. So of course, a lot of important people went to university here. That was a pretty cool little museum there and it also has a medieval banquet hall but that one was closed right now and yeah now let's head to the castle it's actually right up there but i'm not sure how to get there maybe there is a path somewhere let's go check it out oh here we have some stairs that must be the right way Entschuldigung, kommt man hier zum Schloss? Ja. Yeah. Ah, hier hoch. Also okay. man kommt auch da hoch, aber da kostet was. Da kommt man dann rein ins Schloss schon. Ah, okay. Und da kostet es erstmal nichts. Ah, okay, aber da kann man auch rein ins Schloss, yeah, oder? Yeah. Genau, da kann man dann oben ein Ticket kaufen und dann trotzdem rein, wenn man möchte. Aber da okay. kann man auch nur oben ein bisschen rumlaufen und die Aussicht genießen. Okay, vielen Dank. Ja, Ciao. So apparently I gotta ascend all of these steps here to get to the castle. There are quite a few of them. Have a look. This is one long staircase. Let's see if the view up top is worth it. 
I mean, there must be a different way to get to this castle than taking this very long staircase here. But yeah, I'm here now, so I'm gonna do the steps. Just look at this staircase, it is massive. Right, I think that I'm almost here. That was some staircase. But there's a road as well. I think that you can get up here by car, which I guess I should have done. But a bit of exercise doesn't hurt, does it? Still quite a bit of ground left to cover because up there is the viewing platform. So we gotta ascend some more steps here. All right, we have made it. We are at Heidelberg Castle now. Let's go check out the view. This is some view right here. We got the town of Heidelberg down there and then the old bridge, which is a medieval structure over the river Neckar and then the Heidelberg castle right here. Not a bad place to come, I would say, especially when the weather is like this. And this is Heidelberg castle. This castle was built in the 13th century and some parts even before that but then in the 17th and 18th centuries it was completely demolished and in the last 200 years it has been progressively restored. So some parts of it were restored and other parts are just ruins. But yeah, this is one of the biggest castles in all of Germany. Have a look. The line to get inside the castle seems to be quite long. But yeah, let's see if we can manage. Right, I got myself a ticket for the castle here. It was nine euros for the castle and the cable car. And to be honest, I didn't even know that there was a cable car here. If I had known that, I wouldn't have had to do all these steps. But anyways, let's go check out the castle. <laughs> and I think that nine euros for a castle and a cable car is really affordable. I just remember taking the cable car in Gibraltar a few months ago and that was like 20 euros just for the cable car. So yeah, Germany is way more affordable than what people think. Now, just like many castles in Europe, this was not built during one specific period. This was rebuilt, expanded and renovated throughout the centuries and that is why the architectural styles differ within the castle complex. In this part of the castle behind me they have the pharmacy museum which is pretty interesting. I just went in there and it showcases the history of medicine and laboratories and how in medieval times pharmacies worked and also how diseases were cured. We seem to be arriving at the main viewpoint now and I think that this one is gonna be better than the one that we saw before because to get to this viewpoint you have to pay the entrance fee. So yeah, let's go have a look. And here we have it. You can see the Neckar River and then the main cathedral over there, the castle tower and the castle itself over here. Pretty amazing view, even though it is clouding over now. Right, that was it from the castle. Now we're gonna head back down to the city and we're gonna use the cable car. I am back in the old town now and I have to say that the terraces here do look pretty inviting so I think that I'm gonna go get some food now. Right, I just sat down at a Turkish restaurant here because I was craving döner kebab and German cities have large Turkish communities so you can always find some pretty decent Turkish food here. One thing that Germany is very bad at is credit card payments. This guy here didn't accept credit cards. I had to pay in cash but I didn't have any cash left so I had to go to the ATM while he was making the kebab. Luckily there was an ATM just a few hundred meters away. But yeah, that is something to know if you are coming to Germany. A lot of places do not accept credit cards. Here's the döner kebab, six euros for that. We are definitely not in Turkey here. Pretty decent kebab here. 
And that's it from the pretty streets of Heidelberg, Germany. This is the perfect day trip destination if you are in Frankfurt. And that's what I did. I came here from Frankfurt this morning and now I'm heading back there. So yeah guys, thanks very much for watching and see you next time. Goodbye. Oh, 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 o